When I first met Ashley, I thought she was a bit on the strange side. In grade three, at eight years old, I was diagnosed with Tourette's syndrome. When me and Ashley first met, I think I was grade six. She had little twitches and just simple stuff where she couldn't keep still. Tourette's syndrome is a neurological disorder. It's not degenerative. It lasts through our life. She whistles a lot or she sniffs. She might play with something. I have these habits called tics. These involuntary things that I have to do. Winking, clearing my throat, shoulder shrugging. I did notice once that when there was a bunch of us walking, she could not stay at her own walking speed. She'd always do this little foot tapping thing so that she caught up to the other speed so that her right foot hit when that person hit that person's right foot, if that makes sense. Sometimes I have to do these things, otherwise I'm physically uncomfortable. She'd sit there drumming on a desk for hours. So, if one hand gets cold, I have to do the same thing to the other hand. To me, she came across as very withdrawn. She was a lot more emotional than everyone else. <sighs> Tourette's syndrome also has emotional symptoms. Mum says I don't have an emotional wall. I can't think about it. It just gets to me. She would just get so angry and frustrated that she'd walk out of the room and start crying. It was a bit heavier for her. This is what you see. But it's not who I am. This is who I am. Sat in the corner of the room. Everything's reminding me of you. Nursing an empty bottle and telling myself you're happier, aren't you? Ain't nobody hurt you like I hurt you, but ain't nobody need you like I do. I know that there's others that deserve you, but my darling, I am still in love with you. I guess you look happier